So looking at the Triple G and Murata fight, both of these guys were coming off a long layoff, so it was a lot of rust that was coming off. Triple G, of course, had just turned 40 years old um, recently. And the way the first round started off, Triple G controlled the first round with the jab, looking good. But in rounds two and three, it didn't look too good for Triple G. As Murata started bringing on the pressure towards Triple G, hitting Triple G with the body shots. And at the beginning, Triple G wasn't, you know, reacted well to these body shots as he was taking deep breaths. I mean, could, you know, just to get more oxygen, I guess. But after the third round, that was pretty much it for Murata. Now, of course, he still kept bringing the pressure in round four and five against Triple G, but I just thought Triple G just got the edge on both of those rounds. But after round five, it was all Triple G from there. It was definitely all Triple G. As you can see, when Triple G was throwing these punches towards Murata, Murata was wincing a lot of these punches, especially in the round that he got stopped. But Triple G has a great jab. He still has the power. And he also has a chin. I mean, the only weaknesses you could probably give to Triple G, to be honest with you, it's probably to the body, but then again, later on in the fight, when Murata was still going to the body of Triple G, Triple G was handling those pretty well. Now, Triple G, of course, was, you know, going with the hooks and stuff, and, and I like this little corkscrew punch that he always throw, or he's known for throwing, when it looked like he's throwing a, a hook, but he switches up, and it's like a half over, over, uh hand or something like that and it goes to the top of the head you know those type of punches sometimes it can break people's hand but Triple G uses that to the advantage ways though it actually hurts the opponent anyway Triple G end up knocking Murata's mouthpiece out I believe it was in round 6 and you could see that Triple G pressure against Murata was wearing Murata out I mean, it, it been times where Murata was in a fight. He wasn't really throwing much back. And then he'd, you know, take a deep breath. And then he'd start throwing back towards Triple G. And prior to the lock, to the knockout, Triple G was going for the knockout in round nine. Was trying to get him out of there early. And it almost looked like he pretty much blew his load trying to stop Murata. And then Murata took, you know, a couple of steps, started throwing some punches, coming towards Triple G only to run into a right hand, a right counter at that. Put him down, Marauder's corner threw in the tower, that was all she wrote. Now this is possibly gonna set up the fight against Canelo and Triple G. Um, I know people are still thinking, you know, um, Triple G because he's 40 and all that other stuff, he might, you know, he probably get stopped by Canelo, but to be honest with you, I don't really see it that way because Sometimes styles just make fights. Triple G style is 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 all wrong for Canelo, to be honest with you. Well, it's, it's a perfect clash. I ain't gonna say it's all wrong, but it's a perfect clash for Canelo. And in my opinion, I thought Triple G definitely won the first fight. Definitely, and I believe he was robbed. I thought the second fight was more of a draw. I know some people were screaming that, oh no, Canelo won the, you know, Mexican style. You know, I won't argue with that, but personally, if I thought if there was any fight that should have been a draw, I thought the draw should have been in the second fight. But in that first fight, Triple G definitely won in my eyes. And whoever thought Canelo won the first fight against Triple G, I don't know what the hell y'all looking at. But anyway, um, this third fight, yeah, of course it's going to favor Canelo. All right, you got the youth. He has the youth on the side. He has a lot of experience as well. But again, Styles makes fights, and I think Triple G will be there. I don't know if Triple G will get knocked out against Canelo. I don't certainly see it that way, but he has a better chance of looking a whole lot better against Triple G in a third fight. But then again, we've seen this story before. We've seen the old-ass Marquez knock out Manny Pacquiao. We've seen the old-ass Bernard Hopkins do his thing against a lot of young fighters. So, 
we just had to see, man. And um, again, the, the fight with Canelo and um, Bivol, it's no guarantee that Canelo's going to win that fight. I, you know, Bivol is a tough opponent. Whether Canelo wins or loses, he still has to fight the Triple G. So we'll just have to see um, whenever this fight does happen. But that's all I have. Great, comment, subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.